What's up guys, so today I'll be showing you how to install iOS 8 on your iPhone 4S the right way. So first of all, you're going to restore your iOS to iOS 7.1.1. Okay, so right now I'm restoring my OS to iOS 7.1.1. The link to download iOS 7.1.1 for your particular device down in the description below. And you'll find the link to download iOS 8 for your particular device down in the description below. iOS 8 supports iPhone 4S and above, iPad 2 and above, and iPod Touch 5G. Once your iPhone boots into the setup screen, don't set up your iPhone yet. We will need to update to iOS 8 first. So all you're gonna do is on the laptop. You're going to set it as a new iPhone. Choose set it as a new iPhone. Don't choose use it, uh, restore from a backup, okay? Click continue. And click on start. Alright, okay, well, on the setup menu, you're going to go on your PC. Okay, once your device is connected, now you're going to go, and this time you're not going to click on resto uh, restore, this time you're going to click on check for updates. Once you download iOS 8 for your particular device, you're going to click on shift on your PC and check for updates at the same time. Once you click on that, you'll have a selection menu. Of course, shift on Windows means options on the Mac. So right now, I'm going to go to the firmware that I downloaded, iOS 8, and choose it and click update. As I said guys, don't set up your device once you restore it to iOS 7.1.1. Now, there are some rules that you need to go with while installing iOS 8. First of all, never power off your device if you are not registered as a developer. This will allow Apple to detect that your device is not registered and it will send you an activation error and you will have to install you must install iOS 7.1.1 back again okay guys right now I'm updating to iOS 8.0 beta 1 oh for you to know this iPhone 4s is not registered as a developer okay Okay guys, so uh, the device is updated. Okay guys, so uh, can you hear that, the vibration? Yes. Um, right now, <clears throat> there's no need for the iTunes or the PC or the cable because we are in the setup menu of iOS 8. So I no more need the cable right now. I'm going to show you a quick setup here. You know, this is iOS 8. I'm going to go through, through it so fast, you know. <laughs> 